So I just paste in the image right from Google Photos. And I've got my I've got my drawing, right? I drew it with my hand, but using some symmetry tools, using some technology, capturing that sort of analog feel uh, with a digital device, never even had to touch paper. So I could do this, you know, from a waiting room. I could do this while I'm out and about, you know, doing stuff, and I just need to capture that inspiration, send it right to my Google uh, Photos, and pull it in when I get back to my desk. And uh, from here, you know, I can I can do lots of, of cool stuff with it. Uh, I've been using Gravit now for a little bit, and you may have seen some videos um, how I kind of go about using this. But basically, it's a vector-based application, and I can grab my pen tool and just start drawing. So in this case, what I would do is probably draw the silhouette of this guy, and I would do half of him to start with. So I'm just going to go create a straight line here, and then I'm going to turn off my border or I can leave my border on for this part and then I'll just turn off my fill. And then I can create more detail than that is in the actual drawing because I'm just now using my own drawing as a reference. So maybe I wanted to make maybe a couple of you know, wisps of fur sticking up there. Make, make his ears a little bit more jagged, furry. And I'm just using a pen tool, just like you would in Illustrator. Uh, you see how it's kind of jumping around like that? I can turn the snapping off, makes it a lot more smooth. And the reason I'm just doing half of it is because this sort of expedites my, uh, my process saves me some time because I know that I want this to be a symmetrical front-facing head for this logo. And so using the software I can duplicate, duplicate and flip and all that good stuff. Okay, so there's sort of the, the background, right, of uh, here we have the half of the silhouette, so I'm just going to alt-drag that over here, and then I can duplicate it again, flip it, and then I'll just line these two pieces up, turn my snapping back on so I can line them up just right, there we go, and I might even overlap them just slightly, and uh, and then I merge them, put them in a union. That puts them together, and then I can adjust some things right here. So you double click and you can get your node editing points. And that'd be fine for now. So now I've got this, this sort of background piece here. And then I can draw on top of that, like my white area. So rather than like making this a line drawing, which I could do that as well, but um, I kind of prefer doing it this way and then drawing in the white. Again, this I can do in a symmetrical way and even do it in several different shapes if I need to. So just using the pen tool, kind of going as fast as I feel like I, I want to. Okay, and so there could be one shape. Right here, and then I'm going to turn off the border. Turn my fill back on, and I'm just going to move these right on over. And get them lined up where I think they should go. Might have to do a little bit of adjusting here. And what I 
can do as well, I can group those, and then I'll duplicate and flip them again. So you see we're starting to get our, our wolf coming to life now. Maybe we need that little bottom piece right here. Again, I'm gonna alt drag a copy, flip it, I kind of overlap these two pieces. I'm gonna merge it to a union, and then I'm gonna do a control shift P to make that a compound path or a, a solid path. And then bring it right on over and line it up. Let's go ahead and get his eyes in here. Do the same thing with his eyes. Alright, we got his eyes. Let's do this little sort of peak of his fur. Go ahead and grab the inside of his ears while I'm at it. Okay, select both of those and take off the border, move them on over. Alright, so I can just select all of this now, control G, put that into a group. Now we have a vector version of what we started as just a sketch from our phone. And so I can blow this up now as big as I want. I can make a duplicate. I can start changing colors and doing all sorts of things with this dead wolf now. So I thought this would be interesting to you guys, starting with a little sketch on my mobile phone using Sketchbook uh, from Autodesk and uh, taking it from there. So I hope that uh, you got something out of this. Uh, if so, leave me a comment, share it with somebody that you might think would find it interesting, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.